Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another man video today. So, guys, keeping the hype train going for Ultimate Feast. We've been doing this for the past couple of programs, of course, with Most Feared. And when we got Wind of Roll to the playoffs, we did a little hype video that I went ahead and made a custom card to look at. And then we can go ahead and look at what we've got in, I guess, previous Madden mobiles as well. Go over and reminisce on some nostalgia and all that good stuff. So, um, I do want to point out that I am recording this video on uh, Wednesday night um and posting this probably thursday in the afternoon for you guys when you see this now they might they're probably going to stream again in good morning madden on the twitch page in the morning i don't know if nick will go on there and release some more news if he does i'll make another video talking about um some stuff um but of course guys i do want to give a disclaimer that of course this barry sanders it is a custom card, guys. So this is not what's going to come out in the game when, of course, Ultimate Feast comes. I'm hoping we get a Barry Sanders card. Um, but as always, guys, this is a custom card. Uh, I made this in Photoshop. But tell me what your boy, what, how your boy did. Give me a rating on how fire you think this card is. One being, I need to work on it. Not so good. And five being absolute fire. I think it came out pretty nice. I like that leaf effect I got. I took a little inspiration from, of course, the LTDs uh, with their little paintbrush stroke. But I feel like it looked, it came out pretty clean um well, tell me what your thoughts now of course i did use the base of uh paint manning so this is an evolution card 94 overall now i'm guessing masters for thanksgiving and ultimate freeze program is gonna be a 95 overall for like masters i don't know if there will be more than one master um but of course i'm guessing maybe 95 i would be happy with 93 or 94 but 95 would be always better you know what i'm talking about um and i would love to see stat boost come back in the game um like actual like on the card plus two uh, elusiveness for barry sanders and stuff like that to the team and all that good stuff um but that being said uh we're gonna go over some things and all that stuff now of course i'm canadian guys so i know your guys in, in america though and thanksgiving is the 28th um and you guys know that the weekend on sunday with the roadmap and all that stuff um path of greatness has been a lot of fun it, like when it first came out it's kind of getting a little stale i understand i've seen a lot of comments in the comment section saying path of greatness was fire in the beginning but it's kind of like what are you doing and it's like yeah we've had like two or three weeks of just like waiting for ultimate feast and it's been a good like hold this over but on the last two couple roadmaps we're kind of like we already know what's going to go on so but we do know on the 24th the road sign does have a little turkey so that's going to be cool and stuff like that so yeah stuff is going to be coming out and your boy should be streaming um on on the 29th i believe or the tw the 30th i think it's the 30th the day after black friday on the madden twitch uh stream i need to go ahead and set that all up but just to give you guys a heads up i probably i should be streaming on that day in the afternoon so saturday um and all that good stuff but that being said Said, let's go ahead and switch gears let's get into the video aspects and this nostalgia now this is over to madden uh 16 this is the the year that everybody loves and i had a lot of fun with it um and you guys can see that they had a barry sanders as well now we usually do get a lions player um either for i guess ultimate feast or of course black friday um the madden twitch page though for console um while i'm recording this on wednesday night they actually did a live stream like midday or something like that or uh, i think they did at seven o'clock uh p.m eastern time um and they actually released some of the card artworks and stuff like that now the masters on console i don't know if we're going to be following them 100 percent um there's going to be a new tom brady card it looks like a dak prescott card got came out i can't really remember all the cards at the top of my head but the two masters that they got are two lines or one's a lions player one's a dallas cowboy and dallas cowboy is michael irvin um so a wide receiver and then of course the other man for the master is a cornerback and it is night train lane dick lane um is gonna be coming out now i don't know if we're gonna be falling console like i said usually sometimes we do but usually night train he usually has a card coming out for black friday in madden mobile so we'll have to see who the master is my guess is i hope it's barry sanders i would love a night 95 overall barry sanders on the team um but yeah let's go over what madden ultimate feast looks like so help yourself to a mouth-watering packs filled sets delicious live events and thanksgiving players available you guys see the nice barry sanders i really love the artwork back in madden mobile 16 as well uh let's just go through it so you guys can see the thanksgiving now they had these really i want to say these were kind of a bust man <laughs> 
these were a bust it was it was really cool that you got these thanksgiving performers now the, we had leaves back in madden mobile um 16 you guys see our master set 13 items you got some other leaf piles and stuff to get your sets um and stuff like that but you guys needed to go ahead and trade in three silver leaves three bronze or gold leaves and three elite leaves and then one thanksgiving player and then you get this randall cobb do i go into the sets themselves i don't know if i go into the sets um i don't know if i do i don't know really if i do so here's the barry sanders sets. but before we get into that here's the barry sanders sets you need six team collectibles six leaves and then one elite thanksgiving player only one man that is so crazy and let's see the stats on this guy's card 96 speed and this is what i'm talking about the stat boost if you guys never played madden mobile back in the previous days we used to have stat boost which was one of the best things about madden mobile um plus two agility and plus two awareness that is huge he has 99 agility 98 acceleration 99 elusiveness 96 Six ball carrying vision 92 carrying and of course speed is 96 but yeah obviously elusiveness barry sanders has to have that has to have that um so yeah amazing amazing card uh for the barry sanders card do i go over um the next couple of things here are the sets and all that stuff do i go over one of the players um as i think i do so here's one of the players so randall cobb was a 91 overall and this is why it was cool concept but it was kind of a bust at the same time because if you guys look at this so he's a 91 overall in the thanksgiving day if he had 10 plus catches in that game he becomes a 96 overall so that was really cool concept it, it made it like it brings you into real life into the game like you have this randall cobb card if he gets 10 catches boom 96 overall i don't think and why it was a bust because i don't think any of the players that got this one of these performer cards actually got um there of course uh i guess goal to get them into a 96 so you got cam noon pass for three total touchdowns three total three plus touchdowns you'll be rushing or anything i think you only got two or even you only got one um and then of course we had this man right here total tackles this one seemed like could be a could be a night not bad one tackles you know what i'm saying but that was 10 that's for a lot of requirements for this i think my man got six that day if i remember back way back when but yeah i believe none of the guys actually got any of the uh, any of the things none of them went from 91 or 92 to 96 overall which was cool in concept but was a little bit of a bust um in that but here are the packs so you got coin packs and madden cash packs so regular madden pack uh coin packs you just got the regular pack uh contains two leaves six collect uh collectibles six school to better players 50k or 500 mana cash then you got the bundle that gives you 15 of these thanksgiving packs and then topper gives us three gold or better leaves so you get some elite leaves in there and yeah that is basically it and obviously pro packs they did get added items so that's kind of cool you can get some leaves and pro packs and stuff like that and then we have our achievements um but yeah that's pretty much what it was like in madden mobile 16 we had little animation leaves falling down moving on to madden mobile 17 man so here's our first look we got a new loading screen your boys got the face cam um we got the poppy right there um but yeah you guys see we did get another alliance player like i said we got herman moore and stefan diggs got a card it was uh, but that stefan dig card was not a master i believe it was just like a pack pullable card um for of course this given day when you logged in um but here is one of the packs so you got a starter pack 100 mana cash um do i show off the packs here i don't know if i do but let's go into sets very quickly so you guys remember we had defensive playbooks and stuff like that we had no more counters in the game um and we're, we're saving madden mobile 15 for the last because that's that's another mo monster but <laughs> you guys see here's herman Moore master 15 items only um you got your seconds pack you had all these on trade so food items were a big thing this year um you needed ham you needed pumpkin pies turkey entree i don't know how turkey is a gold item <laughs> turkey is the main feast how's that not an elite um but yeah you guys see some items there we had mashed potatoes and stuff now to get an elite player you have to get specific items um right here so you needed elite dessert items i think actually all the desserts were elite so maybe they went with that with all the desserts you needed specific kyle rudolph's matthew stafford Cro uh, crowder dan bailey uh gay and of course dante moncrief uh right there um so not too bad to get our elites then we had this playbook we had these defensive units which were really cool i'm not going to go into this because that's another beast if you guys remember that in madden mobile 17 um i just want to go over everything but yeah herman more all you needed was 10 thanksgiving players and then five elite thanksgiving players now that does sound like a little bit 
compared to what we see now but it was a lot harder to get players and stuff like that so this was not a bad set but you do get a 90 i think it was a 94 i kind of blocked it over here but plus two acceleration plus two catch and all that stuff um and you guys see his stats he does have 91 speed 96 catch jump is at 96 elusiveness 91 94 awareness 95 agility so yeah that was kind of how it was like let's see the packs though um you did get a free herman moore right when you open the game which was pretty awesome 87 overall as well um and then you guys see it looks like oh no here's our coin bible pack then we had a mini bundle and then we had a big bundle so that's what it was kind of like in madden mobile um 17 you guys can see thanksgiving players and stuff like that um and then we got a dessert we got a pecan pie elite item so that was madden mobile 17 pretty cool now madden mobile 18 was another type of beast as well really great i like these programs a lot I really do all, like Ultimate Feast. Now, tickets was awesome. They need to break back weekend drafts and stuff like that, tournaments. Um, but, yeah, you guys can see we got a Calvin Johnson. This one was probably where I got the leaf inspiration for uh, for my for my photo. We got a Calvin Johnson. Um, and then, of course, we had Deion Sanders. We had animation playback type of players. So, you can see Barry Sanders got a card. Calvin Johnson got a card. But, yeah, Deion Sanders plus two acceleration. Um, you guys can see the stats, 95 speed is all that goodness um so yeah there is Deion sanders then we got barry sanders and calvin johnson so a lot of lions and of course another detroit lion um detroit detroit lion and a chicago um holy cow i can't even talk dallas cowboy um here's barry sanders tattoo you guys and take a quick look at it and pause it if you guys would like to move on to sets you got a hot dog <laughs> as a set item and then of course we got the full plate you guys put in specific gold uh items a little kids dish and stuff like that then of course we had all these we had a cool thing where we had like stuff players which was a cool addition to the game you guys see calvin johnson now this was kind of like what we have now where you had like upgrade sets where you had to go from an 80 overall to like a 90 overall you couldn't just go right from like 90 overall you have to get 80 86 and then of course 80 what not 91 and into the 94 overall and then you guys saw exactly what you needed but yeah animation cards which were really really nice back in madden mobile 18 this was a really nice year as well i really like madden mobile 18 um and you guys can see some of the players so we had um 94 overall masters we had the 91 mid-range and then the 80 overall but we also had other big players so we had the stuff players bobby wagner marcel darius um jadavion Clowney right there jordan howard had an 89 overall card that was a really nice card adam thielen jimmy smith and all that stuff um so really really nice and you got different uniforms different logos you can rock and all that stuff so yeah i really did enjoy madden mobile 18 um it was not too bad of a year there's matthew stafford pulling all that stuff i don't know what did we show off packs yeah we did right about here let me take a quick pause um if i'm showing it off so yeah it looks like there is no coin bible packs this year um unfortunately so you guys take a quick pause 750 2000 and 5000 for the bundles now this was day one so the, uh, not the big things came out right away um but yeah not too bad not too bad right there goskowski in that pack and then moving on to last year kind of a train wreck here overdrive people didn't like it we had five masters i think we got a calvin johnson main boss master um they did give us a little counter to give us a little heads up and stuff like that I, I i actually completed a bunch of players um we had the market we had the tokens and stuff like that and then we had the pies that were auctionable which were really good but yeah here are the players themselves so you guys just got yourself barry sanders 93 overall derwin james calvin johnson and then of course they had a bunch of scheme selectables which they don't have this year scheme selectable was a big thing last year um but yeah calvin johnson patrick mahomes aaron donald Dion sanders got a card i, I said i think i said Der derwin james already um and yeah those were the masters so yeah just like last time you had 90 93 overall high masters and then you had 92s and then 91s and then so on and so forth going down the, the tree um so yeah that was that was back in last year's and then you guys had these weird things the storefront was an absolute mess last year i really didn't like it not even gonna go into much into that um but then lastly we have the old nostalgic video now this one is probably one of my most I, I don't even know how to say it. like funny videos and it's back in the day now if you guys played back in the Madden mobile this cornucopia set was the biggest set to do um you have to go ahead and get turduckins and stuff like that so you have to finish off these dinner plates now back in the day one million coins was insane to have not like now where you have like 17 million coins and you're like what do i do with my coins i don't know what to buy nothing's auctionable this is here no one million coins back then was literally all you need 
and to do the tur um the turducken set or the cornucopia set it was so much money to do that i was not going to do it for a video but then all of a sudden they did this big bundle a bunch of people were buying it the prices of these uh, elite items right here the turkey the dessert item the pumpkin pie and it looks like cranberry sauce um the prices dropped like dramatically so i went ahead and did a set for the video um so yeah, I needed seven of these. Now this was a banger pack, man. Banger pack. Probably one of the best packs you can open up to this day in Madden Mobile. Um, because you get yourself, uh, I'll, uh, let's see what you get. So collect seven Turducken's items to earn yourself a Corner Covia pack, the ultimate feast, one game changer. So you get one game changer card. Those were always good to get. Uh, there was elites. And then for some reason they made silver cards. You'll see what we get. Um, then they have the free agents, which is pretty much a guaranteed elite veterans which is guaranteed elite oh, oh, oh i click pause um um roll to the playoff player which was not bad coin collectible one trophy one elite player one gold player one most feared player could have been an elite card one legend item signature card this was like madness they did not release signature items guys like they do now where they had packs it was kind of like it came in the store in the beginning of the game and never came back <laughs> it never came back and then you get one guaranteed thanksgiving legend now thanksgiving legends guys so like i said put this in this perspective this set was probably a million coins to do there was five legends all right so you had barry sanders Dion sanders uh terrell suggs uh amon green and then troy aikman barry sanders Dion sanders were the best ones you can bet they were like 1.2 so if you pulled those guys basically made back your coins and then anything else you got in the pack basically cherry on top it's just extras right terrell suggs was not a good one to get he still sold for i think 700k and then amon green sell for like 600 or maybe he sold for more than terrell suggs maybe those two flipped but the one you did not want to get was troy aikman there was a lot of other better quarterbacks in the game at the time and that troy making uh, troy aikman sold for like 200k so you're losing 800,000 coins and then if you hope to make it back on the other stuff now obviously your boy does this set what do we get we got a good game changer at least we got an elite there there were that was not really a good one though um but we get the quell jackson and then we get <laughs> your boy got troy aikman so yeah it was already a downhill right there then then we're getting our signature card odell great player obviously signature card was a silver a silver it was like that was like a knife stabbed me in the heart and then back in the day i didn't know what to edit and then the best part is my mom comes in texas Where's the text? Take this in. I literally just pulled old Dell Beckham. That's probably one of the worst signature cards you get because it's the silver. You want elites, obviously. And then my mom, <laughs> my mom texts me right about here. Boom. She texts, don't give money until after meal. He, he, he. I don't know why my mom writes he, he, he. And why would you pay for a meal before you eat the meal? I don't know why in the world my mom texts this text, but it, it, it went through. Your boy didn't know how to edit back then. I would have cut that out. Um, but yeah, that's there to see forever. So this is like the literally this the worst video you could possibly get. Your mom texts you in the middle of a video. <laughs> you pull a signature card and you pull Troy Aikman. Man, it was it was crazy. It was crazy. So, but yeah, other than that, this pack was probably one of the best packs you could open up in the game. I really like the grind for it. But yeah, that's just going to end off this video today, guys. So that's just a little hype video just to throw back and stuff like that. Like I said, I would love a Barry Sanders card. Tell me what you think that edit looks like. How do you... Th rated i'm there might be uh mike um michael irvin or of course uh, night train coming out but i would love to see a barry sanders but yeah tell me guys what's your favorite part about the ultimate feast program and all that good stuff but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching so you know what to tune to for everything madden mobile and ultimate feast and that's right here on the channel always stay hype guys and i'll catch you guys soon peace what's up